Jack Naylor from the University of Sydney. Welcome to Australia in Space TV and also Milan IAC 2024. Thanks very much for having me. Great to be here. How have you found the show so far? I, I came across you yesterday on stage as it happens. Uh, there's yes. about 100 Australians here, so it's great to cross paths. But how have you found IAC so far? It's fantastic. It's, it's great to be part of such a large meeting of space yes. professionals, um, be amongst the industry and, and also all the technical sessions as well uh, to really get a, a good feel for the pulse of what's going on yep. in the industry, um, what research is out there and really where we're headed as well. Um, so it's quite exciting to be here. And you, know, you were on stage, uh, I suppose it's a good benchmark for the research that you're doing uh, and hearing and seeing uh, what else is going on. How, yeah, maybe how, how is it from a benchmarking viewpoint for you? Uh, are you discovering new things or are you finding that there is a real demand for the type of research that you're doing and an opportunity for you. Yeah, absolutely, 100%. So my research is, is really focused on dealing with a lot of the visual challenges uh, that we experience in space. So the reflections, the dynamic lighting, um, things like this. So um, that kind of sensing side of things, uh, we're starting to see more and more uh, as being a really key bottleneck and yep. a really key challenge. Uh, in operating in space um, and enabling the autonomy that we're, we're going to need in the future. Um, so it was, it was great to chat yesterday um, and be able to have that, that dialogue and see where that really fits into the, the picture uh, with the operators um, and also the, the policy side of things as well. And you're, that computer vision, are you, you're looking for space environments, is, is the moon uh, one of those environments that you're looking at? I predominantly look uh, more at in-orbit uh, right. type things. Um, but. I've also done some work previously uh, looking at the challenges that we experience on the, the moon with retroreflection yeah. um, and also the, the challenges of you know, particulate uh, and things like this. Um, space is a really complex uh, place, but what's really nice is that all these visual challenges are very, very much reoccurring themes, um, not only in space, but here on Earth. So we can take some of that technology uh, that we're developing for terrestrial applications and also apply it up there as well. Is there anything in particular on the camera side that you do, or is it more on the software side and the interpretation of the images? I, I do both. So uh, a lot of my work is looking at representations, so building up ways that we can represent an environment um, using a class of methods uh, that model how light works. Um, so really down at the, the fundamental operation of how cameras work. Um, but we also work on novel sensing as well. So I've done quite a bit of work uh, with sensors called uh, event cameras uh, to enable docking under diverse and really challenging illumination conditions. Um, and they measure not images, but the change between images, which enable us to, to operate in a really uh, different way. My lab's also very much involved in developing sensors specific for applications. So at the moment, we take off the, off the shelf, you know, space tested, uh, right. sorts of cameras um, but we're looking now at how do you design a camera specifically for docking or how do you design a camera specifically for inspection um, to really maximize the amount of information uh, and, and enable those, those new forms of autonomy and um, insight that, that we need to operate. Wonderful. Well hopefully there sounds like some uh, commercial uh, shootouts from there, uh, that type of research as well. Uh, and it, my, my interest in uh, surveillance and CCTV in the, in the past, uh, it's a fascinating area and then to be doing it in space is even more so. Uh, but look, Jack Naylor, uh, the University of Sydney, you're a PhD candidate with about a year or two to go. A year or so to go, yes. Yeah, we'll, yes. we'll definitely be hearing more from you, I'm sure, and hopefully we'll see you at IAC 2025 in Sydney and we're, as it happens, we're at the Sydney, uh, the Australia stand yes. uh, here in Milan for IAC 2024. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. Sydney 2025 should be should be fantastic. Um, everyone should come along and join us. Thanks for joining us on Australia in Space TV. Excellent. Thanks for having me.